Welcome back. Welcome back to Chats, Chas, and Big Jesus, y'all. So I'm trying to get my whole little intro together, y'all. So just don't mind me. Um, but God wanted me to remind y'all about the fact that every season is going to be a elevation and a step up from the previous. I hope y'all are listening. Use your spiritual ears. Every season is going to be a step up and an elevation from the previous one. And it doesn't matter what the season is. If you honestly take a few seconds and think back, think back about everything you've been through, whether it's relationships, friendships, jobs, business, you can, I know you can honestly say and find a silver, find a silver lining in each situation and season and say, yeah, you know what? You are right. That was a step up from the previous season. Like I can say that with all of the relationships that I've been in or with dating, each person that I dated after I um, separated from my ex, after we had broke up a couple years ago, I can honestly look at the situation um, and the person that I was probably dating and say that they were each a step up from the previous one. I learned different things. I like I truly learned things from us from these guys. I was treated differently, so that made me step up my game, step up my boundaries, have a uh, higher expectations for myself, um, and set those boundaries and be stern with them. So I can honestly say each person I dated was a step up from from the last one. Each every single one. It doesn't matter. Um I'm not gonna be specific and give examples, but each one literally was a step up. So I just look at situations and seasons as your stepping stone. God puts us in situations and in different seasons so that you can elevate, so you can learn a lesson. That's what life is all about is learning, growing, elevating, healing y'all. So God will put you in a situation so that you can learn a lesson. You can learn, okay, maybe, you know, in the future, I'm make sure I don't go left. I go right instead because last time when I went left, you know, X, Y, Z happened. So now I'm going to make sure I go right. Excuse me. When it comes to finances, I'm pretty sure y'all can say every job you've had, the next one probably paid more. Maybe not initially, but as you got raises or bonuses, ultimately you made more money than a previous one. I know I did. I look back at my last jobs and I'm like, you know, I my current job is the most that I have made so far in my um, adult adult life or just in general. So every season is going to be a step up. God is literally, he literally puts us in seasons for reasons. You know how they say every uh, person or every situation, there's a season and a reason or every person comes into your life for a season and a reason. That's exactly what it is. God will teach you so many different things and equip you with tools and resources to prepare you for the next season, prepare you for your next chapter of elevation. So as I've been preaching to y'all, that the harvest is here, your next chapter, your next season of elevation is here. So whatever that may mean for you, because everybody is in different seasons of their lives. Um, if that's your marriage season, God is introducing you uh, to your kingdom spouse. Well, all of those past relationships, I'm sure you learn things. You learn how to trust. You learn how to set your boundaries, how you should be treated. You know, whatever the case may be, you learn things to set you up for success, to prepare you for your God-ordained spouse. Same thing for businesses. If you had a business and maybe it failed, I bet you learned some lessons and learned some things that you would do differently for any event you decided to do another business or for your next business. If this was your first business, okay, now I know what to do because I went through trial and error and I know what worked and what didn't work. So that prepared me for my second business I'm about to get. Same thing for school. I know, I y'all, I'm like a professional student. I've been in school. <laughs> I think I've never not been in school. <laughs> Let's just say that. I'm working on my second master's and then I'm going to get a doctorate. So I'm just, you know, I'm a professional student, but it's okay. It's okay. God wants me to be a professional student. But 
each, you know, each degree that I've received so far, I learned things from the last degree. I learned, I went through some trial and error. So now I know how to work smarter and not harder than, than I did like in undergrad and things. Um, jobs, same thing. We, we get these jobs, we learn, we get the experience, we learn certain, um, things, processes or innovations, how to innovate different processes and, uh, systems and stuff. And you get the experience to set you up for the next job. So like in the past, I didn't have experience doing what I'm currently doing. I was hired as a recruiter and did not, I mean, I did a little bit, but that wasn't my sole responsibility at my last employer. Now I am so equipped and skilled at being a recruiter that I've elevated into multiple different roles being in the same company. And those skills that I have, like my skill set from my other employer and my past jobs, those helped me to be successful in this role. And I'm sure that the skills and things that I've learned in this role is going to help me in the next one. It's going to help me when I open my own practice as a therapist. Yes, y'all. I am in school to become a therapist. Okay, y'all. I'll be done next year. I'll be needing some clients so y'all can come sit on your girl's couch or virtually, however, whatever makes you comfortable. But your girl will be there to help y'all because black therapists rock. You can have you can have God and a therapist. I I have both. Definitely have both. Um, that was just a side note. But again, you know, every situation that God puts us in, every season that He puts us in, is to learn something. It's to grow. Um, and elevate elevate for your next season it is just setting you up for success you learn some things you get some tools you um prepare yourself for that next chapter so as we've been fasting i know <laughs> i know i've been fasting these days been damn and flying by but god has been truly pouring into me this fast has been so beneficial and crucial for me and my growth in setting me up for my next season setting me up for my next chapter of elevation growth healing in all areas spiritual emotional physical everything so just be mindful of that do not you know even if it's stuff that you're not too fond of and don't really want to do it or you're questioning god like why why am i going through this just be able to find a silver lining in every situation and be grateful show god that gratitude because he's like you'll see why i took you through that eventually you're going to understand why i took you through those situations why i took you through those breakups why i put you in those situations and some of those situations, as I always say, God didn't put you in those. You put yourself in there because you didn't ask him for confirmation. You didn't take that God to or that woman to God and get confirmation whether you were supposed to be with them or not. You was just hard headed and being a rebel and doing what you want to do and be fast. And then you had to deal with the consequences. And God is like, I allowed it to happen so that you can learn. You can learn your lesson and it's going to set you up for success for the next situation or for your God-ordained husband. Now you're like, okay, I know I don't like that. I don't like when I'm treated like that. Or now I know I need to set, um, set some boundaries because in the past I did not. That was something for me, a big lesson that I learned. But um, I'm not here to be the dead horse. But yeah, y'all, just make sure that you are not questioning God. Be mindful that every season and every situation and chapter is just setting you up for that elevation. Everything you've been through, I'm sure you can honestly reflect back. Do that as an activity. If you journal, journal and write about your past jobs, your past relationships, businesses, school, whatever it is that you would like to uh, reflect on and look at the elevation and the growth. Look at the things that you learned from those past situations that has helped you um, in your next season, in your current chapter, and that's going to help you for the very next one. Um, but make sure y'all are using your spiritual ears for every message you hear, especially from myself. Um, you are taking everything that you hear from me and any prophetic voice, um, pastor, preacher, any and everybody, taking it back to God for confirmation. And you are asking God, is this a message for me? Because we're not all in the same seasons. 
And if you're not able to reflect back on your past situations and see the elevation and growth, then I would definitely say take it back to God. Take it back to God because I'm sure it's there and you're just not using your spiritual ears. You're just not diving deep into it to look for the gratitude. Um, but make sure y'all again, take it back to God. Okay. Y'all again, thank you for everyone that like comment, subscribes to my channel, uh, that drops comments, um, prayers and they let me know that things resonate with them. I do apologize if I do not respond to y'all. Um, during this fast, I have been avoiding being on social media. So I post and then I try not to be on there too much engaging, unfortunately, um, because I'm trying not to overindulge. But um, Again, thank you to everyone. If you're not subscribed to my channel or you're not following me on any of my platforms, please do so. You can subscribe. Uh, my name is Chastity M underscore on all of my social media platforms. So make sure y'all subscribe and follow me. And again, I appreciate all of your love and support. Thank you.